Hey Foods 2 students, wanted to do this video for a couple of uh, reasons. Uh, the main one is to help you guys a little bit to understand uh, how to do your restaurant descriptions. Uh, the other reason is just to kind of let you see my face. Uh, so a restaurant is going to have a menu of course and unless you're something like a McDonald's or a Burger King, you're going to have a menu that has a description with every item and it can range from big to small. Uh, you can go to places like Chili's, uh, Cheesecake Factory, those are gonna have menus with descriptions, okay? So I wanted to give you an example of a very complex description and a simple description, and then basically you guys can choose whichever one you wanna do for your menu. Okay, so we have one, like it says curry prawns, Delicate prawns sauteed with madras curry, garlic, onions, cumin, and potatoes. Uh, and right underneath it, there's chicken stew where it says free range chicken sauteed in ginger, um, a dash of this and that, green onions, and tomatoes. So you can go complex like that, or you could do something else like an example here, a uh, Spanish omelet, cheddar, pickled peppers, tomato, sour cream, uh, breakfast spaghetti in clams and crab. Didn't know they made such a thing, but anyway, that would have eggs, Parmesan, pork, bok choy. Uh, the descriptions, like for those, if it's something that you know is already in it, like an omelet, you don't have to put eggs in your description. Uh, it's the same goes with this breakfast spaghetti and clams. They didn't mention the clams. They didn't mention the spaghetti. They didn't mention the crab because that's already in the title. But they mentioned some things that are not listed in the title. The parmesan, the pork, the bok choy, the eggs. Anything that is an allergy, you definitely want to make sure you put in there. So um, milk, dairy, um, wheat. Um, with the spaghetti, it's already covered. Um, remember that things like eggs can be an allergy, the seafood, uh, that kind of thing. Also, remember we also want to do things that are kosher and halal, okay? So that pork, you need to make sure is part of your description. If it's not in your title, you need to put it in your description. Now, there is an exception. Um, sometimes you might see something funny uh, with a title like Brenade and Belly. Okay, Brenade is a type of alcohol. What is the belly? Well, it's pork belly. And since the title doesn't say Brenade and Belly, that it's pork, you would want to change that and add that to your menu. Okay, you would want to put that in your description. Uh, so if you've got something like that, like Sloppy Joe, okay, a lot of people know what Sloppy Joe is, but there's tons of ways you can make Sloppy Joes these, like, these days. Ground turkey. Um, you could use the Impossible Burger meat that's ground up. Uh, of course, beef, pork, those kind of things. So with something like that, even though the title is probably universal, you may want to go ahead and put that in your description. Another thing you may want to do is like, let's say you have shrimp and grits. Okay. Yes, the shrimp is already listed, but you may want to say that they're in local Chesapeake Bay shrimp or something like that in your menu. Um, with your grits, you may want to say that the grits were ground at a local mill uh, within 30 miles, whatever the name of the town is or something. Okay. Um, so that's some exceptions to the rule, wherever you may want to add a little more description to that. It's a little confusing. That's fine, guys. Um, you know, we're not having a lot of open time together to kind of discuss it. Feel free to email me about uh, any of those kind of questions. Uh, I'm here to help. Uh, the thing to understand is this is good practice for those of you who are going to go to Culinary One next year. Okay? That's the big thing. I want you guys to get some of that practice in now so that next year you can say, Hey, chef, I've got my menu. Uh, let's come up with my restaurant and go from there instead of having to start way behind. Okay. So again, you got any questions, email me. I'll do what I can to help you out and take care. See you later.